guys, it's Jenna from thespeechroomnews.com. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my rolling cart. I do all inclusion, so I use this cart every time I go into a classroom. My cart is from Office Max or Staples, and it is just a regular boxed rolling cart. It's rectangular and um, it folds down, but I never fold it down. These usually only last me about two years and then I end up getting another one, but this one is on its second year and doing so good so far. All the other pieces that I have attached to it are from Target pretty much. So on the very front of it, at the top, I have this shower caddy. And you'll see in the front half, it has my learning targets and visual cues. So this is the speech sound cues. Those are in my TPT store. These are learning targets for every different area. So there's articulation, phonology, grammar, fluency, social skills, and language. And so I can just have this open when I'm working with a student on the table and then I can help them self-assess over here. This is my behavior uh, learning target that we use. And I have a speech schedule in here. I put the extra icons for the speech schedule on the back. But I always have it. So that's one half of the shower caddy. You can kind of see how it just sits. If you get a shower caddy that has a hole in the middle, you can just set it down over the top like that. And on the other side, I just use this all the time because it has my tongue depressors, crayons, scented markers, regular markers, stickers, pens, pencils, kid scissors, and glue sticks. The other thing I keep on the front of my rolling cart is this over the door shower, um, or not, maybe not shower, but you're supposed to be able to store your hair dryer in it over the top of a door in your bathroom. So it's steel, it has a bottom on it, and I keep uh, random things on the outside of it that I might need to grab. So I have a timer with me all the time. Some of my students are using this two hit switch so I have it with me to program like new words to take back to their classroom. And then on the inside, these are the things I just keep with me all the time regularly. On this side I have this mirror hanging. Um, it's a trifold mirror that can't be broken. So it's really nice. I'm not really sure where I got that. Um, but you could Google it. It's a few years old. And then inside, I keep a couple of these little totes. It's kind of hard to see them, but there's two totes down in here. The first side just has my paperwork. So I have a clipboard, and then I store my student um, data sheets by teacher and split by morning and afternoon. So these are all the data sheets for one class. Um, that I go into on Tuesday and Friday for the afternoon. One of the two classes I go into. And then there's just some random junk, and then more junk. Um, my, I've got some phonology cards in here. I have some interactive vocabulary books. So that's in one side. And then on the other side, I keep uh, some toys and reinforcers that I use all the time. So right now it has these velcro um, mitts and I just instead of using the balls that they come with I get an animal so we can do a lot more languagey things with animals we can do animal names uh, where do they live tell me about the animal would you have it as a pet would you not um, we can do throw it like the animal is so a wolf would go fast a turtle would be slow lots of concepts that kind of stuff and they these little mini beanie babies stick to the velcro mitts and then i have my ipads are in here i have a kid's book i have a microphone there are some fidgets down in the bottom and a spinning magic wand when all else fails to motivate lots of fidgets in there so the containers that are in the bottom of this are from the kind of stuck in here there we go they're from the um, bath section at Target as well and they're long and skinny they also have short and skinny ones they're made to go on some kind of tower system so they have a little hook in the back but you don't have to use that what I really like about them I don't know if you can tell 
is that this is shiny and you can wipe it down. Like it's meant to have shampoo bottles or like soap or things that are gonna be kind of yucky in them. So you can wipe them out, which is amazing and way better than a regular basket, especially with our germy kids. The ability to sanitize is highly important. So as you can see, my cart's already sort of full when I start my lesson planning, but that's okay. Anything additional that I'm gonna bring, I just sit right here on top and um, bring it with me into the classroom. Usually I don't have that much more to bring and I can just sit it right here on the top and I try to keep that in like a tub or a bin just to keep everything in there organized and easy to get to. I hope if you use a rolling cart, you use some of these strategies. Hit up the bed and bath section at Target and you can find all these kind of accessories to your cart to make it much more functional and more organized for you to use every day.